Yo, what's good? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this pixel sorter effect here on the background. So let's just get right into it. So I got the goat right here. I already roto brushed him out. Uh, if you guys don't know how to roto brush, I don't really care. And so I'm going to be using the pixel sorter free plugin. This is a paid plugin, but it's definitely worth it. This is not sponsored or anything. So let's bring this effect on here. And essentially it's going to be these two values right here. The threshold that's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting. And then there's just some like minor little tweaks that you can do. But as you can see here, just playing with these values, I'm getting those stretches right here and then adjust the angle to have it go from uh, up to down or down to up or left to right, right to left. And then you're going to just keyframe these values at the beginning and the end to, you know, bring it back down to zero to get a cool effect that you want. But they actually updated it. So in Pixel Sorter 1 and 2, they didn't have this. But in the third one, they have this stretch feature. You just enable stretch and it actually detects the 3d map behind him so basically just the background that's there it's using ai to kind of just figure out where things are and kind of like where to place the pixels and how to sort them yo so this channel's slogan is editing made easy my goal is to save you time and save you money while helping you deliver the best product to your clients that's why there's tons of free editing packs on my website and why i'm also introducing you to the most cohesive complete editing bundle on the market let's preset sound effects animations 3d assets every transition you can think of i've been working with some of the best professionals in the editing industry to create the best time saving assets out there. And now you can get over 3,000 editing assets in just one purchase. And it's literally 70% off right now. And use this code for another 20% off. So that's enough yap. And let's just get right back into this. And you can change this right here. This is either inside or outside thresholds. Uh, you can just do that to get some different looks. So for example, if I wanted to use the pixel sorter plugin on Duop Can right here, if I set it to inside thresholds, it's not gonna look as good, but if I set it to outside thresholds, you're gonna get some different looks and whatnot. And when you play with these threshold values, you can make them look more detailed or less detailed, and you can make them go crazy or up and down or whatnot. In this example here up on the screen, the the on the line music video by yeet edited by nido he made it so that it was just kind of like barely kind of moving and bumping up in the background it looked really nice and then he threw on some glow there so let's make that right here so i'll just set the angle to go up and down like that and you can also mess with other values here so like offset for example you can use that to keyframe your values in how you want them to if you like how the threshold's looking and you don't want to mess with these values too much and then also you can mess with the block width and height and as you can see here, you can change the pixel size as well, which is cool. So if you want them to be super detailed or not detailed at all and kind of grainy, you can do that. And then also you can bring out the levels of the colors so you can see better kind of where they're at and how to best kind of make this map effect. You can decide what this affects. So you can decide whether or not this affects luminosity, the red channel just the green channel, just the blue channel, or if you're working with alpha channels, or if you want to get where all of the saturated parts of the scene are, you can do that. So there's really tons of ways you can do this. And then you can also layer these maps on top of each other. But yeah, I'll have some examples up on the screen of what that can look like. And if you guys like doing trippy stuff like this, check out my website. I sell a bunch of preset packs and cool editing packs that'll definitely level up your music video editing. I just launched four new packs on my website. So, you know, I'd appreciate it if you guys check it out. I've really been going crazy lately. I've been putting tons of time and energy into all of these packs, trying to put out like the best stuff for you guys. And as well, there's gonna be some free packs on my website as well, some sample packs. Really just trying to like put a bunch of stuff out there for the community. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless, peace out.